Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Microsoft Fabric Master program. In today's session, we will talk about how to create a Snowflake free trial account. Once we have created a Snowflake free trial account, in that we will see how to create a databases, schemas, and tables. And we will create a table and we will load the data into that particular table. Once we load the data into that table, okay, once we insert records into that table, we will see how we can able to copy that table records from Snowflake to Lakehouse using the data pipeline in the Microsoft Fabric. So first, let me move on to the browser here. You can just say Snowflake free trial. Okay, just to click on the Snowflake trial account. Once you click on the Snowflake free uh, trial account, it will ask you to provide some of the basic information. Okay, let's provide that particular basic information. Just wait, it is loading. Okay, so Snowflake things and all will uh, run little slow. Don't worry about it. So first name I am giving Cloud Pandit. The last name I am giving Snowflake. I already have existing mail ID. You must have to give the existing mail ID team. It is we are not creating a mail ID. So I have existing mail IDs cloud pandit the snow snowflake at the red gmail.com. Company name I am giving it as a cloud pandit. Role is I'll be just giving it as a, some data engineer. Then uh, just click continue. So when you click continue, so there are different editions that you can able to enable. So I'll be enabling the enterprise and I'll be choosing the Azure Cloud because how we have a Databricks which is uh, available in Azure, AWS, Google Cloud, Snowflake also which is uh, which can be launched on the Azure Cloud, AWS Cloud, and the Google Cloud. So I'll be going with the Azure Cloud, okay? And you can choose whatever region you feel uh, it it is comfortable for you. you. Can take it. I suggest to take it in East West too. So once you've taken that, you can check here to indicate that you have read and agreed the terms and license. Then click Get Started. So it will ask you to provide some kind of a feedback. You can skip it because those things is not required for us. Some answers like it is asking how you are using this snowflake, what language you are using and all those things that is fine. Now it is asking you to verify your mail ID called cloud pundit snowflake at the red gmail.com. I just created a few minutes ago uh, the Gmail account for you to show you from very scratch because you might not be aware how to set up the snowflake also that's why i'm explaining from very scratch you can see very like 149 i just created the uh, gmail so now very soon you will be able to see the notification here with the snowflake just wait yeah you can see now exactly like 158 right now the time is 158 now the file uh, like the mail is arrived now what you can do you can just click here to activate let's wait again so here what you can do is you can provide your username so i'll be saying my username is cloud pandit the snowflake very very important so this username and password you need to provide at the time of connecting from the fabric so that's why make sure you are providing this username and whatever password you are providing you have to remember that okay so and i'll be confirming the same password once again so once confirmed click get started click get started so it is going to open the workspace now so we are now done with the how to create a snowflake free trial account okay snowflake free trial account so it is showing uh, the other account is logged in so don't worry again click to activate here so it will ask you to log in now so automatically it will log in with this particular account tip. So I'll be providing the cloud pundit. Snowflake is the user. And the, uh, okay, this is a password. Click sign in. Okay. If you have already logged in with some other account, so when you provide username and password, it will open with that account. Now you see I just have logged in with the cloud pundit the snowflake account. Okay, fine. So first time when I click here, uh, I provided a new username and password, confirm password. It redirected me to the older the i have other snowflake account that account again i came back here clicked on click to activate this time it asked me to log in so i provided whatever username and password i have given earlier so successfully i logged in so i don't want to explain each and everything here so very quickly i'll explain what is required for us so first important thing is whatever queries that you are writing in this particular snowflake in order to execute you need to go to admin 
so under admin you can see warehouse okay you can see warehouse under admin warehouse you need to create a one warehouse you don't have any warehouse you need to create a warehouse it is just coming up just wait for a uh, wait for a while so it will load all the options so it will ask you to create the warehouse just wait for a second it is loading you yeah so maybe what you can do now quickly you can uh, switch role here you can switch to the account admin so maybe yeah so you need to be in the account admin if you're in public so it will not allow you to create the warehouse so that's why we just switch to the account admin when i uh, enabled the account admin role you can see warehouse click on the warehouse so i'll be creating a cloud pandit underscore wh this is my warehouse name. cloud pandit cloud pandit underscore wh i'll create and what type of node like is it a medium or is it a small large x large 2x large 3x large 4x large so it is very high cost team as you increase the compute so that's why i'll be choosing the very uh, minimal compute uh, if you go to advanced you can see auto resume auto suspend auto resume means whenever you fire a query automatically the compute will be up and it will execute your query if nobody is submitting any queries automatically this particular computer will be shut down after five minutes of inactivity meaning next five minutes if nobody is submitting any queries within next five minutes it is going to be shut down that's how i just kept all the query uh, like all configuration then click create a warehouse this is first important point that we need to do the second important point is click on worksheets now click on place here click on the sql worksheet within this worksheet if you see these are the two databases i have i want to create a database called create a database cloud pandit db okay you can see i am with the account admin so i am selecting the warehouse called cloud pandit underscore wh to execute this now you can just select and you can run it without selecting also you can run it because you have only one uh, only one query now click on this left side click refresh you should be able to see the cloud pandit database so once you create a database two schemas will come by default now you want to create your own schema cloud Pand create schema cloud pandit schema okay i want to create a cloud pandit schema just select this particular query now run it now right click on this database okay right click on here and refresh it you should be able to see cloud pandit schema under cloud pandit schema i don't see any tables so i'll be creating a table called cursed so it is a cid in the c name is varica of 50 like this you can have a table with as many columns as you want as per your requirement you can run it now what happens if you click on this schema okay still it is not showing right click here and uh, refresh it so under tables you should be able to see a table called cust now i want to insert data into this table insert into cust to table values or i can say one rama okay so like this you can just put as many records as one two Krishna, okay three sorry something like this i'll be just keeping all this uh run it so this is what yeah sorry you need to put the semicolon here as you are executing a multiple queries now you can insert this okay so this is the employed uh, sorry this is a cash table similarly let's say i want to create a one table called employee table now i'm just keeping here the schema okay create this employee table okay employee table is created now what i want to do i want to insert the records into this employee table come down i have kept all the insert queries ready now you can just keep this put it here now you can select all of these insert queries and run this now now what happens all these insert queries are going to execute. now let's select select start from cast select this run this you should be able to see customer table is having some data similarly employees okay employees now you can select run this you should be able to see the employee data also now if you can um, refresh here at the main tab you can also see the employee table now let's try to copy one of this table let's say employee table from this snowflake into the lake house using the fabric so go to fabric click on the data factory i'll go to my workspace so i prepared my source right 
now let me prepare my sink sink is lake house my target is lake house so what i'll do i'll just create a lake house lake house is cloud pandit lake house 001 create it okay once you created the lake house you can create a, some folders also let's say i want to create a global slash india slash landing slash employee okay maybe emp so in that particular folder structure under global and under india landing emp i want to load my employee data how to do that now again go to my workspace so now let's create the pipeline click on this click on data pipeline so you can say pl4 data ingestion monthly something like this then click create once you create uh, so we need to use a date copy data activity let's add the copy data activity to the canvas so come here so let's create a source source is not a workspace it is a external source so select external click new so this should be a snowflake right so you can just come here select snowflake so once you select snowflake okay you need to put the server name how to get the server name if you come here go back go to admin under admin you can see you have something called accounts under accounts you can just copy this particular locator so come here put that particular locator here you can remove this particular https then the warehouse name what is the warehouse name cloud pandit underscore warehouse wh underscore wh so i have existing connection i don't want to use that i want to create a new connection so in this new connection so i'll just say that ls4 snowflake tutorial now username what is the username username is cloud pandit snowflake so password is cloud at the rate one two three create it so now with the tutorial linked services created if you want to test the connection you can test the connection so now we can see connection is successful so if you see drop down so i have created a database called cloud pandit db i just selected that particular database which i created and under tables if you see here so it is just loading under tables we should be able to see the tables that we have created so how many tables we created we created a cust and employee table so those two tables we should be able to see here. just wait for a second it is just uh, getting loaded yeah now you can see it is uh, loaded if you see down you can have all the data now i'll just select the table called employees so that's how we need to set up the source now come to destination i have created a lake house under this the lake house that we created is cloud pandit lake house 001 now go to files under files you can just browse okay what is the folder structure that we created we have created a folder structure called global under global i have uh, uh, like india folder under india i have landing folder under landing i have a emp folder then click ok okay so once you have selected the folder structure under this the default with the default file name so data will be loaded into the file that file name we no need to provide it will be created uh, at runtime if you want to give the file name you can give the file name as well so i just said like the save and run so now you can see it is successfully saved and the run is started let's go to output okay so you can see copy data activity is running let's wait for a second so every 10 minutes uh, the status is going to be updated so the duration is 15 seconds again 20 seconds so now if you can refresh so you can able to see the status of the copy data activity okay so just click on this copy data one okay so it you can see the status is still in progress let's wait close it i think it is just loading the data let's wait for a second okay okay now you can see it is turned out to be a green meaning it is successful so it took the duration is 45 seconds if you click on the copy data one you can see it read the five records and it is copied into the five records now if you go to the lake house that you created where is your lake house go to my workspace click on the lake house that you created 
So in this particular lake house, we can see under global India landing EMP. If we click on EMP, this is the file. If you see the data that we have in this file, all the five records are loaded into the lake house. Okay. Yeah, that's it for today team. If you have any questions, please put your questions in the comment section. And I request all of you to subscribe my YouTube channel and uh, encourage me. Thank you. That's it for today.